Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm C Tech Dude. Appreciate you being here today. Today I'm a little sad, a little, a little disgruntled, maybe even a little hungry, but that's besides the point. And the reason I'm sad is because the S10, guys, I wanted to love this phone. And I do love most things about it, but the one thing that I really hate that's kind of a deal breaker for me is the fingerprint sensor. I was expecting it not to be horrible, um, but as of right now, guys, it's really, it bothers me. And it shouldn't, but it does. So the main issue I have with it is it takes about, honestly, four or five tries for it to work for me. And I've tried several fixes for it. I've tried uh, re-enrolling the same finger again, deleting all my fingerprints, adding them again, adding them twice. It doesn't matter. It still does the same thing where you have to keep pressing it. It says no match, press it again, no match. And it drives me crazy, it drives me crazy, guys. I'm not one to complain normally about things, but this is my main complaint about the phone. And I know what you're saying, there's other ways to unlock the phone using your face or using your pin. Uh, but when you buy a phone for $800, which is how much I paid for this phone, you expect it to work without compromise. And I feel like I'm having to compromise on the fingerprint sensor by having to do other methods of unlock, which isn't what I want to do. Comparing it to the previous generation, the Note 9, um, that fingerprint sensor works every time, no problem at all. This one does not, and it's super inconvenient. So if you're trying to get your phone out fast and use it real quick, it may take two or three seconds, which doesn't sound like a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, it kind of is a lot. Um, besides that, I mean, the phone the phone works great. I mean, I don't have any other complaints besides that fingerprint sensor, and that is my biggest complaint. And I know people said that there's an update coming out that should fix this, but for the unlocked model for Samsung phones, for some reason, when you buy it unlocked, the update has to go through all the carriers before it can get released to the unlocked model phone, which is really annoying. So it gets uh, software updates usually a lot slower than the other models, which is silly if it's unlocked. You should get, it should get updates faster, you would think, right? No. So they said there's one that's coming out that's gonna fix it, um, or at least improve it, but who knows when that'll be. Also, people said that you can take off the screen protector that comes built into the phone and it'll help it. I don't wanna try that because I feel like if it has the screen protector on there, there's probably a reason for it. There's one on there, you shouldn't have to remove it. Um, so that's not a very good solution for me either. So I, I really, honestly guys, I wish I would have bought the S10e. That seems like the phone that doesn't have really any compromises. Yes, you lose the uh, additional telephoto camera, which isn't a huge deal. You also lose the curved edge, which I would, probably would like better, honestly. And the battery's smaller. Um, I think the screen's a little, little lower resolution, which isn't a huge deal, but it does have that fingerprint sensor on the side, which from what I've seen, looks like it works a lot better than the ultrasonic. And yeah, it's gotta be better. I mean, there's no way it could be worse, honestly. So I hate to, I hate to say this, cause I love Samsung phones and I was really excited to get the S10, but honestly, as it is now, I'm thinking about returning it and getting the S10e because I'm having compromise and that's not something you should do with a brand new phone, especially when you pay a lot of money for it. So. Anyways guys, had to get that off my chest. Sorry I'm a little long-winded, sorry. That's not what you want to hear, but that's my opinion. Maybe yours works better, maybe my thumbs are just weird. It's entirely possible because I'm weird, so it just goes to reason that my thumbs would be weird. <laughs> Anywho guys, thanks for joining me today. Sorry this was long-winded, sorry to complain so much. I'm not a complainer normally, so don't judge me just on this one video. Watch my other videos, we have a lot more fun normally. But thanks for being here, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. You just got CE tech. Have a great day and see you next time. Thanks for joining me, guys. Peace.